we're gonna make clayudas. And for this recipe, I'm gonna need tortillas, black beans, jalapenos, nopales, cheese, and salsa. So let's start with the tortilla. This tortilla was made by Terra Antigua, and it is a 100% next time alive tortilla. We're gonna put some black beans on top as a first layer. Now, this tortilla is a little bit crunchy, and it's a good base. The only thing that you have to do at home is use another tortilla, a corn tortilla, preferably a nixtamal tortilla. Let it sit on the hot grill for about a minute. Another thing that you can do is put in a sandwich press. If you put in a sandwich press, you, you have to let it go until all the steams comes out and the tortilla becomes crunchy. Or you can also put it in the oven and let them sit in the oven at 100 Celsius for about 30 minutes and you get your crunchy tortillas. All right, so I have my beans on top as my first layer. That's gonna help me to hold everything together. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese. This is uh, Oaxaca cheese, my favorite. This makes things great when it comes to the um, Clayuda. See, everything is up. Now, what I'm gonna do is put some ingredients on top. Now, for this particular recipe, I wanna add some jalapenos. Jalapenos for that spiciness, you know, I like it spicy. Um, you can put as many jalapenos as you want. You can put avocado. You can put mushrooms on top. You can put tomato on top. Anything that you want. Basically, treat it like a pizza. Any toppings that you want to have, just put it on, all right? I also want to put some cactus. And it's just because I'm in Mexico and I've been seeing a lot of cactus, cactus around, so I like it. It's very good for you, it has a lot of fiber. It tastes like a broccoli. It's actually, it's very pleasant to the palate. All right, and to finish it up, salsa. Now, salsas can take a long time to make, but if you want something authentic, just go to the supermarket and grab La Costeña salsa. Tastes like Mexico. Now, I'm just gonna put a little bit on top, just to give that color, you know, and the flavor and the spiciness that we're looking for to complement your trayuda, and off we go. Trayuda. An easy recipe, just put it in the middle of the table and everybody will crack a piece of it and enjoy the flavor of Mexico.